Good evening, you're watching the news from the South and the Television. First, the headlines. The first shipment of oil refined completely in the Sundam gas plant is exported. The International, Con the International Consultancy Committee for Oman University Project views plans and strategies of University City to achieve future goals of the project. The volume of commercial exchange between the Sultanate and United States exceeds 750 million Omani rials and a workshop in Muscat sheds a light on the features of free trade between the two countries. And the Ministry of Housing affirms that real asset estimation table came within the organizational procedures to determine the actual real asset prices in accordance with market value. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. Oman Oil Company completed the sending of the first shipment of oil which was refined completely in Musandam gas plant which was constructed recently. The plant is capable of refining oil and gas is expected to play an important role in enhancing the national revenue. The ship left Musandam station for crude oil export after success of loading operation. It is considered an achievement for the company. Musandam plant is the second oil port in the Sultanate after Mina Al Fahal specialized in international oil trade. The International Consultancy Committee for Oman University Project viewed the most important stage reached of the University City project, namely Oman University and Science and Technology City at academic and research level, as well as implementation plans and strategies. The committee acquainted with the experiences of some countries and universities in the field of developing science and technology cities and renowned international universities. The best ways to achieve future academic and research goals of the project as well as building qualified cadets in line with economic intellectual requirements of the Sultanate. The meeting also viewed experiences of American and Australian universities in building and strengthening research and academic capabilities and finance systems followed by these universities. The consultancy company presented a display of academic system and an administrative structure for the university. The meeting was presided over by Her Excellency Dr. Rawia bin Saud al busaidia Minister of Higher Education, Member of High Committee and chairperson of the Executive Committee for Oman University Project. To acquaint entrepreneurs, small and medium enterprises with advantages of the free trade agreement between the Sultanate and the United States, as well as on economic trade responsibilities, top matters discussed at the workshop, which focused on free trade between the two countries to contribute to increased level of trade exchange and commercial cooperation. It also focused on how to enter the U.S. market and how to export to these markets mechanisms and kind of projects needed in the United States. It also discussed commodity import from the United States, sources and services provided for Omani companies and challenges. Trade volume between the Sultanate and the U.S. reached more than 750 million Omani rials as the two countries seek to increase it through gaining investment and trade opportunities. Workshop to acquaint entrepreneurs with advantages of free trade agreement between the Sultanate and the United States. This session today uh, is a workshop that uh, uh, elaborate about the uh, agreement between the FTA agreement between the United States and the Sultanate of Oman. Uh, in this workshop, uh, the explanation uh, about uh, the benefit of this agreement, uh, how the business uh, uh, society can benefit from this agreement. Uh, today, we are focusing on the SMEs. We want to uh, explain to them. Uh, the way the access how do they can access the american market uh, we want also to hear from the business uh, society what is the obstacle they are facing 
uh, in this agreement so that we can discuss it with our counterpart in the United States. So I think this type of uh, workshops it's, uh, it will give highlights more about the opportunities, also about the problem that the private sector is facing. Within organizational procedures to determine the actual real asset prices in line with circulation prices in the market, the Ministry of Housing stated to apply a table to estimate real asset values as a guideline referred to when making any real asset dealing of transferring ownership to order minimize personal estimation by real asset registrars. The Ministry confirmed that in coordinated with the specialized bodies to deal with some remarks related to importance of estimating real values of the real estate from the point of real estate circulation and importance of adopting organizational procedures in line with market trends. The Ministry of Housing said that it contacted a number of approved real estate brokerage offices to estimate real asset values in all governorates of the Sultanate and then it approved the average price supplied by the office. It mentioned that the price update will be conducted every four months in accordance with market movement through three approved offices in brokerage and calculating average price of the square meter for these estimations. The ministry mentioned that it did not notice any price increase due to the determined price of announced real estate estimation table as it is rumored around. The monthly real estate circulation movement witnessed a kind of stability. The International Monetary Fund value procedures adopted by the Sultanate to limit the effects of oil prices decline, expecting that the domestic product will increase at the medium term after it witnessed a decline due to oil prices decline. A team from the IMF during a visit to the Sultanate said the country adopted a daring procedure to limit the effect of oil prices decline, and these procedures reduce the expenditure by by four and a half billion during a year. The team added, in spite of procedures adopted until now, the continuous decline of oil prices affected negatively on the Sultan's economy and they estimate the estimate the gross domestic production growth at around 4% in 2015. It is expected to slow down even more in 20. 16 and then will increase at the medium term. Financial strengthening will provide a space to maintain priority for government expenditures and oil price flourish moderately this year. The Ministry of Sports Affairs announced the inauguration of the diverse package of integrated summer programs for the year, which are Encourage Your Team Summer Sports Shab Shababi. In addition to the program of the club youth camps in order to active club's role related to cultural, social and sports activities provided for the various segments of the youth and use their free time through positive and effective participation. This came during a press conference held at the General Diwan of the Ministry, which stressed that the aim of inaugurating this program are educational and moral, and the competitions contain energies of young people and enhance competitiveness and work programs are also considered as sports stations in all governorates of the Sultanate. Still to come in our news bulletin. The Directorate General of Education in the Governorate of Ubufar honors students who excelled at school activities. هذا المنظر وهذا الإحساس الطبيعي والرائع والجميل للمتعة اللي أنا أحسها أخذ اللي بصورة
للعلم موقع كثير جميل Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Ways of enhancing existing relations between the Sultanate and Italy in all fields was the center of discussion during the meeting between His Excellency Sayyid Saud bin Hilal Al Busaidi, Minister of State and Governor of Muscat, and Liorca Orlando, Mayor of the Italian city of Palar. They exchanged caudal talks and discussed issues of common concern between the two countries. The Italian guest praised the qualitative and civilizational transformation being witnessed by the Sultanate. National Drug and Narcotic Combat Strategy project was the main topic at the second meeting of the National Committee for Drugs and Narcotics. The meeting also discussed treatment and rehabilitation services provided to drugs and narcotic addicts. The meeting was chaired by His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Saidi, Minister of Health and Chairman of the Committee. An exhibition related to the national campaign on rational use of antibiotics in the health, animals and agriculture is opened under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Mohammed bin Saif Al Husni, Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health for Health Affairs. More details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Rabai. Antibiotic resistance is rising to dangerously high levels in many parts of the world. New resistance mechanisms emerged and spread globally every day, threatening our body's ability to be cured from common infectious disease. This is due to the fact antibiotics are among the most commonly prescribed drugs used in human medicine. However, up to 50% of all the antibiotics prescribed for people are not needed or are not optimally effective as prescribed. Antibiotics are also commonly used for promoting growth in food animals. His Excellency Dr. Mohammed bin Saif Al Hosni, Undersecretary for Health Affairs, it is a, an exhibition and it is part of the ongoing um, uh, campaign to educate the public on uh, appropriate use of antibiotics. Um, let it be clear, if we're not careful with uh, using antibiotics, if we overuse antibiotics, we will run out of antibiotics very soon and we'll have nothing left to fight infections. Most upper respiratory tract infections are viral. They do not require any antibiotic treatment. And I call upon the public, everyone, not to exert pressure on the prescribers, on uh, healthcare workers to prescribe antibiotics. Hence, this particular campaign held here in Oman and other parts of the world is expected to play a major role in raising awareness of threat of antibiotics resistance and the importance of appropriate antibiotics prescribing and use. One of the health professionals has these to say. Continuing the campaign of the antimicrobial resistant, and over here you can see that over prescription of antibiotics, patients not complying with their antibiotic treatments, overuse of the antibiotics in the livestock, poor infection control uh, in the hospital, lack of the new antibiotics, and poor hygiene, especially the hand hygiene, leading to the huge burden of the antimicrobial resistant. That's why we need to be very careful when we are handling the antibiotics. This exhibition center held here is a joint effort of Minister of Health and other ministries and organizations that will shed light to the people on this important area. Specialists are here to speak to one and all and the posters with all what is needed to convey the message required. One of the girls visiting this particular spot has this to say. My mom is a pharmacist. When I came to this event, I, I knew lots of things and I knew that, that antibiotic can be dangerous. So here's a message for all. Let's handle antibiotics with care. Inappropriate use of antibiotics can be danger. So let's handle antibiotic with care. Abdullah bin Ahmed al-Rubi'i, Sultanate of Oman Television, Masqat. 
with the capacity of 70 beds of various specializations and European medical systems, the construction of the European hospital was announced in Muscat. The project includes latest modern technology and systems with specialized medical staff from Europe and the Sultanate. It costs more than 21 million Omani rials. The hospital will have a modern unit for child and mother care, laboratories and specialized clinics for cardiology, neurology, skin tumors, rehabilitation, and ophthalmology. The staff command of Sultan Armed Forces represented in social military services organized an exhibition for handicrafts for the people with special needs of employees of Sultan's Armed Forces. The exhibition came within the frame of continuous concern by the Ministry of Defense for disabled people and its keenness to involve them in the society and recover their contributions in the life with good works which serve their families and society. The exhibition included a number of heritage, environmental and natural handicrafts. Practical exercise included a number of assumptions related to handling hazardous materials, incidents and industrial accidents in Mina Al-Fahal area. The exercise was implemented by the Public Authority for Civil Defense and Ambulance in cooperation with Royal Oman Police and Companies of Petroleum Development Oman and ORPIC, which aimed to measure the performance of the system of dealing with hazardous material. The exercise came within the frame of efforts exerted by the Public Authority for Civil Defense and Ambulance to deal with various kinds of accidents and coordination with different teams in the field. Communicable diseases and ways to combat their spread were the centre of discussion at the meeting of Municipal Council of the Governorate of South Sharqiya. The council focused on hemorrhage fever and hepatitis A disease and ways of coordination among concerned bodies in the Governorate to limit their spread. The number of officials from various bodies took part in the meeting. The council reviewed efforts being exerted by concerned bodies to combat the spread of hemophatic fever virus in the governorate. They also discussed the spread of hepatitis A in Asila village in the wilaya of Jalan Banibu Ali, which registered 136 cases. The meeting stressed the need to raise awareness among all segments of the community on the two diseases through adopting safe health practices. Residents in Al Ghurayra village in the governorate of Al Bremi are waiting for radical solutions from concerned bodies for a number of cases causing environmental pollution which became a threat to the health of them. Although the speeches met by the citizens to the concerned bodies, the problem still existed until today. The municipality took a number of procedures to solve the limit pollution in the area, namely six kilometers of earth barriers, leveling and removing of all wests from near and the residential area. Celebration the Education Day in the government of Dakhliya this year formed a platform to highlight efforts of educational family which contributed in uplifting performance level at various learning fields the, the students' activities. The ceremony was held at Niswa University and showcased advanced positions achieved by the governorate's school at various educational and learning competitions. In the conclusion of the ceremony, the chief guest honored excellent students. The Directorate General of Education in the Governorate of Dhofar held a ceremony to honor 395 male and female students who excelled at school activities. The ceremony included presentations of the achievements of the Directorate in the field of school activities. It as well included shows on students' talent in addition to awareness messages that encouraged students to engage at school activities. At the end of the ceremony, students also excelled at school activities were honored in addition to educational supervisors.
Now for the general weather forecast, clear skies will prevail over the Sultan with chances of clouds and scattered rainfall in the Governorate of Dhofar and Hajar Mountains and the nearby areas. Winds will be north easterly light to moderate along the coastal areas of Sea of Oman and south to south east light to moderate over the rest of the Sultanate. Seas will be moderate and rough along the coast overlooking the Arabian Sea with a maximum wave height of 2.5 meters and slight along the rest of the southern coast with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters. This is the South End of the Command Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. The first shipment of oil refined completely in Musandam gas plant is exported. The International Consultancy Committee for Oman University Project views plans and strategies of University City to achieve future goals of the project. The volume of commercial exchange between the Sultanate and the United States exceeds 750 million Omani rials and a workshop in Muscat sheds light on the features of free trade between the two countries. And the Ministry of Housing affirms that real estate estimation table came within the organizational procedures to determine the actual real estate prices in accordance with market value. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the studios in the newsroom. It's good night.